and welcome to my 37 week post-op RNY gastric bypass update. My surgery took place on March the 2nd, 2018 at the Guelph General Hospital here in Ontario, Canada. My highest weight was 392 pounds. My surgery weight was 317 pounds. And my current weight you'll have to wait to find out later on in this video. All right, well, this week was... At the end of the week, it got better, but the beginning of the week, it was extremely boring. Like, the past couple weeks now, I haven't really done much. But on Thursday, I did get out. I went and did a little bit of shopping, and I even did a little try-on haul type deal, I guess you can call it. I didn't come home with everything that I tried on but you know I'm, I'm still trying to see what my actual size is I'm having a little bit of trouble deciding like I can fit into a 1x but I still feel like I like to hide like my rolls and stuff so I tend to size up so I'm still I still found myself buying like a 2x instead but I can perfectly fit fine in a 1X. I don't know. This fat brain is never going to go away. And I think that I'm just going to regret my purchases in the end. Because, you know, within a month they're going to be way too big on me. P possibly. We'll see. But, yeah, I went just to Walmart on Thursday. And I walked around for about two hours. Just browsing and shopping there were some things that I needed to get like I needed a hat a new hat and some gloves so I didn't get those there but I did end up picking some up and I I love them I went to a store here in Canada called winners they sell a lot of like top and high quality um, clothing for way way cheaper so I went there and I got a really nice hat and mitts and I'll show you that as well On Friday, I took Bentley out for a nice long, you know what, he's sitting right beside me, so if you hear this munching, it's because he's chewing on his bone right now. Yeah, he's very noisy. But yeah, we went out. So, I'm out for my walk with the dog, and it is a complete winter wonderland right now. Look at this. <laughs> My biggest fear is falling, so I'm hoping that doesn't happen. <laughs> He's loving it. <laughs> Look at this. Whew. Got my brand new gloves dirty already. Oh my god. <laughs> I need a sled so he could just pull me <laughs> or skis because <laughs> there's like no see the path it's not shoveled or plowed or anything so we got to make our own path some people have walked past here but oh. yeah he's pulling even still with his leader mask oh my goodness But we're not going far. <laughs> I can't go too far with him. He's making it really, really difficult already. I love him to bits, but oh my goodness. And again, tomorrow is the Santa Claus parade. So my daughter found she has a double shift tomorrow. So she will not be going. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to go either. I really don't know. I wanted to, but it would have been more fun, you know, with her. But, wow, yeah. The trail here is getting deeper and deeper. <laughs> 
I waterproofed my boots, so they'll be fine, but I'm not sure I will be. <sighs> the thing I like about the winter is seeing all the little footprints of the little critters and whatnot in the bushes. I think that's really cool to see. Whew. There's the bench right there. If you can see how much snow is on it, that's how much is dumped last night. It's a pretty thick amount of snow. <laughs> That's what I'm walking through right now. Cringe, cringe, cringe. You can see some people have walked this trail, but not clearly enough to make an actual dent in the snow to make it easier to walk in. Anyways, I'll talk to you all later. <laughs> I'm going to make it a goal for this week right now and hopefully every week to come to get out every single day. I need to do this for my own mental health because I find myself slipping. If I don't get out, get some fresh air and, um, you know, just walk. Even, it doesn't even have to be long, just 30 minutes out every single day. If I can get out, it makes me feel so much better. So I'm going to try to aim for at least 30 minutes a day again. Like I did it in, you know, the spring and the, like even at my heavy weight, right after surgery, I was getting out every day for 30 minutes. So I should be able to do it now, even though it's super, super cold. But when I had my surgery, it was super, super cold too. We had snow as well. So, no excuses. Just do it. <laughs> um, oh yeah, the Santa Claus Parade was on Saturday, which I didn't go to, but I did film. Um, because again, as I was saying, we see it right from our, our front window. Because they literally pass right by our house. It literally ends right at our house. So, um... Yeah, I did watch the whole thing, and I did film the whole thing, but it was not that good at all. So, I'll probably make a separate video for, like, I might put a little snippet here and make a separate video for the entire parade. Mainly for my daughter to see, because this was the first year she actually had to work. So... My son's girlfriend is here again I'm not sure if it's gonna be for one week or two weeks so that's nice it always feels like Christmas when she comes over she always comes bearing gifts for me like lots of you know body care products and I love it so much because I I don't buy myself anything like that so it's really really nice and makes me feel special and she likes doing it so yeah it's really really sweet of her Oh, let's just get into my weigh-in for this week. As you can see, I gained this week. I gained 1.8 pounds this week, which means I'm at a loss again for 100 pounds since surgery. And total loss of 175. Um, it's okay, you know, it's gonna happen. And I didn't even get out last week at all. This week I actually did get out a couple times, even for four hours. On Thursday I was out walking that whole time, so I don't know. But my period is also two weeks late. 
I don't know what's going on there. I literally, for this whole entire week, I felt like I was on my period this whole time because I have been just hungry. I don't even know if that's the right word to use, but I just wanted to eat anything and everything in sight. My stomach's gargling. I've been wanting to eat constantly. Shush, you're not hungry. <laughs> I literally just ate lunch like I don't know maybe 30 minutes ago so I don't know what's going on there but it's gurgling but um I I don't know what caused it I feel like it's water weight I feel bloated I feel like I am retaining some water but I just don't know what's causing it I feel like I'm on my period but it's invisible right now if that makes any sense. I don't know. But literally, I want to eat anything and everything you put in front of me. Shush! I don't know if you can even hear that, but it's like making gurgling noises like all over the place right now. Um, but anyways, I gained. So... So for all of you who are probably getting frustrating, frustrated with me seeing that I'm constantly gaining and you may be at a stall or maybe you're gaining as well or you know, you're not losing as fast as you want. You see, it happens to all of us, no matter what. I had a nice whoosh for a while now, but now I'm like creeping up and this week, that's why I'm, I'm making it a goal right now to just get out there and even if it's for five minutes, just get out there. The cold is not an excuse to not get out there. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to get out every single day and you guys are going to hold me accountable to that. So yeah. Um, anyways, let's get into my belly shot for this week. Any difference? Probably not. Oh yeah, on December 1st, I'm going to be going to a Christmas dinner with my mom and my daughter at our local church. They throw it every single year. I haven't went since my boys were only little, so it's been over 20 years since I've went. So that's going to be something fun to do in two more weeks. Um... It's going to be interesting to see what they have and, you know, I know I won't be able to eat much, but I'm definitely going to enjoy my Christmas dinner, especially since somebody else is cooking it. You know, I don't know why, but food always seems to taste good when somebody else is cooking it, to me anyways. So, I'm looking forward to that. Um, what else? don't really have anything planned for this week either, except to get out every single day. I do need to do some grocery shopping because we don't have much here. I'm running out of a lot of things, so. Shush you. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's really making noise right now. I don't know what's causing it, but I do have a salad in the fridge that my daughter brought home. She went out to lunch with her friend and she got a fruit salad and she didn't like it, so she pawned it off on me. It has strawberries, blueberries, um, it looks like romaine and leaf lettuce, which is a weird combi combination I find, with as well as cabbage, and it has a raspberry vinaigrette. She hates it. Oh yeah, and feta cheese on top too. It sounds good, but it doesn't taste that great. I don't know. It's just, the combination is very, very weird to me. I've never had anything like it, but... I will eat it. You know, I'm not one for wasting food, so I will eat it. Um, as long as the raspberry vinaigrette doesn't make me 
sick because I really don't know what's in it. Like, what's the sugar content in it? Um, if they added any sugar, I don't know. It is pretty tart. But I'm going to try anyway, so... I'll probably show a picture of it on Instagram later. So if you haven't added me on there, feel free to do that. Um, I don't post as often as I, I would like. But, you know, I'm hoping to eventually get into it. I'm really not good at this whole social media thing. I'm good at rambling about nothing at all and boring everybody. But, you know, again, this is just supposed to be my update video. So I guess I will talk to you all again either later on this week or next week. We'll see. But I hope you all have a wonderful week, and yeah, I'll talk to you next time. Bye for now.